Today I want to be showing you how you can fully use your 3 terabyte hard drive. Um, just as a warning from the start, if you're here looking uh, for a solution on how to boot um, from your 3 terabyte hard drive using a motherboard that has not got UEFI, then you're in the wrong place. Just, I'm just warning you now just to make sure I don't waste your time and so you don't just watch a video for like five minutes or, or so and then just think oh this has been a complete waste of, like, uh, waste of time dislike um, so yeah please please leave now unless you're interested in watching the video anyway so basically um, yeah once you've got your three terabyte hard drive in you've got the cable the correct cables connected to it the one from the power and the one connected to the motherboard um, make sure it's like screwed in etc <coughs> uh, basically yeah you turn your PC on <coughs> sorry and you go to disk management uh, you can search for that here you just type in a uh, disk management or just like part of it and then under here yeah, it'll say create and format hard disk partitions it might say it says that for me it might not say it for you but it should show you at least one thing on the control panel or you could go to the control panel and look for it there so yeah just just so you know go to disk management uh, I think you can uh, right click on computer and go to manage yeah I think you could I think you can do that as well so <coughs> have a go basically um, I've got my these are the drives in basically you can see uh, this is uh, my main one it's uh, 500 gigabytes obviously you, you don't get the full amount when you have a hard drive it takes part of it part of the storage space for file management or something like that um, and then this uh, oh yeah, this is like the reserved one reserved bit for the uh, storage I forgot what that's for but uh, and here's my uh, external hard drive and here is um, <coughs> the uh, three terabyte hard drive. As you can see, it's sort of like got about two terabytes there and about here, 800 gigabytes there uh, or so. It's something like that, similar to, to mine. Uh, basically, uh, because of legacy addressing, uh, it will only go up to 2.2 terabytes and then give you the extra after that so like the 800 gigabytes but obviously yes you, you don't get the full amount but this is sort of what what I mean like two terabytes there and 750 or so gigabytes there so it's nearly three terabytes um, yeah so you see it like that it's in two chunks if this if it's an MBR um, so what you have to do well actually I'll show you first uh, you can see convert to GPT disk you have to do that but I need to show you this first if one of them if one of them like if the main bit is um, has already been uh, like partitioned and there if it's already been partitioned it's just formatting yeah there we are uh, if it's already been formatted, basically um, you won't have that option, it'll be greyed out like that. So you just need to delete the volume. And there we are, it's the same as before. You right click that, convert to GPT disk, and there it is, it's done. Remember, you can't boot from this. I, I haven't found a solution myself. Please feel free to uh, write in the comments if you have a solution and like appropriate link to where it is. So everyone can uh, can find it, and um, yeah, so it's got two point two point seven, yeah, about about two point eight terabytes there. So um, there, as you can see, you can convert to the MBR disk if you want to, but then you'll have those two chunks. So here, uh, basically, you just uh, new simple volume. You just do go through these steps. You can assign the drive letter. I'm just going to put it drive Z. I'm not sure why, but yeah, next. You can name.
name it. I'm just going to put mine as main hard drive. Just leave the rest at the, as they are and finish. It's formatting. I think it's done. There we are. Um, as you can see now, it's appeared up in this top one main hard drive Z. Um, as you can see, it's got the capacity, the free space is 100% free. And there's the main one, as my external one, and there's the simple, there's the system reserved one, and they're all there. Um, yeah, so basically that's how you uh, make uh, convert your three terabyte um, hard drive from the MBR to a GPT. Remember, just right click that, and then there should be convert to GPT there. Just remember the steps that I've already that I said before, and you should be fine. And uh, you'll be able to use this as storage now. Um, so I'm going to be using it mainly for games and stuff like that. I've got quite a lot of games that fall on it, at least the terabytes. Um, yeah, but remember, you you can't boot from this. Not that I know of, and not that what a lot of people know of. You need a, um, a motherboard with a UEFI like sort of BIOS instead of the uh, the the normal one. I forgot what it's called. I think it's just, I don't know. Um, yeah, if any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, I can if I look into it for you. If I don't already know the answer, so thanks for watching. Goodbye.